Welcome students. Today we are going to see science term 3 unit 1 our environment. So, Yali and her friends are going to school with her father. So on the way they are seeing many animals, plants, birds and also they are enjoying the nature very much. So parrots on the trees, ant, spider, squirrel, mina and monkey, fish and frog in the pond, goat and cow are grazing near the pond. So all these animals live in the same place depending on one another. So now we will see about the environmental factors. So our environment consists of everything around us. So it has living things and non-living things. Children do you know uh, what is living things? So living things such as plants, animals are living things. So and non-living things such as water bodies, sunlight, air and land. So the living and non-living things in our environment interact with one another. So look at this picture. Our environment is a wonderful gift given, given by the nature. So our environment has two main factors. They are biotic factors and abiotic factors. So now we will see about the biotic factors. Living organisms in our environment are called biotic factors. For example, lion, plantain, dove, human beings, etc. How? Living organism. Abiotic factors. Non-living things in our environment are called abiotic factors. For example, air, soil, water, sunlight, temperature, etc. So now we will see the difference between the biotic and abiotic factors. Biotic factors are living things. Abiotic factors are non-living things. So living things, for example, living things, they can breathe and grow. Non-living things, they cannot breathe and grow. Living things need food to live. Non-living things do not need food to live. So living things can feel. Non-living things cannot feel. Living things give birth to young ones. Non-living things do not give birth to young ones. So now we will see the interaction between biotic and abiotic factors. All biotic factors depend on abiotic factors for their living. Biotic and abiotic factors are linked to each other by the flow of energy through food. Plants are the most important among the living organisms because they only can make food from abiotic factors like air, soil, water and sunlight. Look at this picture. For example, plants are dependent on soil, water, sunlight and air. Look at this picture. In this picture, human being is dependent on water, air, animals, sunlight and plants. So, birds are dependent on air, water, sunlight, insects, trees. Similarly, insects are dependent on soil, small creatures, plants, air. Now we will see the balanced ecosystem. What will happen to the deer if we remove all the lions? What will happen to the plants if there are no lions to eat the deer? If all the plants are eaten, what will happen to the deer? It is important for the food chain to exist in any ecosystem to make sure that the energy flows between the biotic and abiotic factors. So an ecosystem is balanced when the biotic and abiotic factors are able to cycle the energy and food as per their need. The biotic factors in ecosystem include producer, consumers and decomposers. First we will see producers. So, the living things which can prepare their own food are called producer. For example, plants are the producer. They make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. Hence, they are called as primary producer. Sim so, humans and animals depend on plants for their food. Now, we will see consumers. The living things that eat the food prepared by the producer are called consumers. Most of the living things depend directly or indirectly on producers for their food. 
consumers can be divided into three types based on their food. So herbivores, carnivores, omnivores. Herbivores is a plant eating animal, carnivores is a flesh eating animal, omnivores both plant and flesh eating animals. Look at this picture, these are herbivores animals. Look at these pictures, carnivores, so lion a carnivorous animal. Omnivorous. So now we will see about the decomposer. Organisms that feed on the waste, dead plants and animals are called decomposer. They return the nutrients to these for you. Bacteria, fungi are the example of decomposers. Now we will see the plant sampling. Young plant within a thin stem is known as a sapling. Survival of living things is impossible without plants. Planting and taking care of plants lead to a good environment. Students, what you are seeing here? You are seeing a picture of a big tree. So now we will see the benefit of the trees. It provides oxygen for breathing. Also it provides food and shelter to the living beings it absorbs harmful gases and smoke from the surrounding so it provides a good air for breathing it gives wood for making furniture it offers a good environment for living and help, helps in bringing rainfall so we'll see about the event van mahostav van mahostav means festival of forest it is an annual tree planting movement so this movement behind in India in July 1950. This festival is organized during the first week of July every year. This, is, this event has been created to create awareness among the people. We can give saplings during celebrations, family functions and nat national festivals. Also we can plan saplings on our birthday. Some important initiatives to protect our environment are the Chipko movement, in the year 1970, the Environment Protection Act 1986, National Green Tribunal in the year 2010, APICO Movement in the year 1983. Thank you students. Have a nice day.